Hi, my name is Adam Karch, and I'm one of the automotive instructors here at Parkland College. I'm going to give you a little walkthrough and a tour of our facility for the automotive program here at Parkland College. This is the T building. The T building houses our automotive program, collision repair, welding, and industrial technology, as well as the Ford Asset program alongside our automotive programs. This building opened in 2012 and it really is a great wide open space. This is one of our automotive classrooms. You can see it's got a lift. We're able to put a car in the classroom as well as do some engine and component work. Our automotive program has three classrooms that we utilize. Here's another one here. You see lots of storage for components. We're really proud of our car show and a lot of the student activities we do. We have a lot of fun with those things. Here we've got a case with all of our instructor credentials. We are widely certified amongst all of our staff, uh, most of us being ASE master's techs. And then we've got some specific credentials in other areas like General Motors. Here in this hallway, again, the car show and uh, community activity has been a big part of our growth over the years. Just this last, this current year in 2020 was the first year that we missed a car show since 99, unfortunately, for the current situation and, and pandemic. But we hope to return next year. There's another classroom. And that takes us to our shop. So our shop is one of the big hallmarks of our program. We've got uh, an incredible amount of space. Uh, we are just about at 20 lifts that we can utilize to work on cars. We've got lots of different vehicles that are disposal to work on in our fleet. And then we've got opportunities for students to work on their own cars. So right now it's July of 2020 and one of our night classes is our motorsport vehicle performance assessment class. And so we've got in that class a bunch of different projects. Some of those right here are student owned projects. This BMW here is a student who is doing a turbo upgrade. This GTO, the student did a camshaft upgrade as well as some of the valve train um, is working on getting it tuned. And then this truck, we're also doing a camshaft upgrade in it as well. That's got a small block Chevy. So this is one of the opportunities in the motorsport class where students get to pick a project, do a baseline of its performance, like horsepower output, make an upgrade and a change, and then get to reassess and see, did the camshaft upgrade or the turbo upgrade make a difference? This might give us a good time to talk about the motorsport program specifically. We've got several up to five different cars that we utilize for this program now. This learning curve is the car that started all of this. So we've had the learning curve with us for quite a number of years. Um, I wanna say it came about in 99. It currently has a six liter LS platform engine in it that has fuel injection. We just went to a Holley EFI fuel injection system. We utilize this car for drag racing. And so students get to work on this car and they also get to drive this car once they meet some parameters. Another car that's more of a multi-purpose car for us is this 94 Mustang GT. We opted to do kind of a take on the Cobra mascot of Parkland and some of the newer Cobra jet decals. And so this car has been with us for quite a while, a um, number of years. It had a five liter in it. It's a manual transmission car originally. And we are working on swapping it at this point. Right now we're working on swapping it to an LS six liter engine. So this will have a six liter LS based engine. Uh, we're gonna go to a automatic transmission so that we can utilize this car better for drag racing. We'll touch on one more of the motorsport cars. And that's this Miata. Uh, we've had this Miata now for about three years. It was donated to us. And so we utilize this car for autocross. We've got another wheel and tire set for it. Um, it is largely stock. It came to us with a supercharger with some issues. 
Um, we've been unable to get the supercharger back on at this point, but it r really creates a, an amazing driver experience for students. Just next to that then, this is that larger classroom that we saw originally. This is a Mitsubishi Eclipse. That's one of our fleet cars to work on. We're a little bit of a mess during summer right now, so we got lots of things out and going on. But this is pretty typical that we have a lot of components out, even the time that we spend with lecture, whether that's gonna be a hybrid format like it is this fall, where you do things online, or you get to be here and listen to our instructors deliver content. We do a lot with components. We want to show you the pieces and the parts and talk about how those things fit and how they all go together and work as a system. Up here on the pallet racks, you'll see all of those components that we work with. Lots of engines, transmissions, transfer cases, whole assortment. This here is our 2018 Chevrolet Volt. Uh, we utilize this car for some hybrid awareness and some hybrid labs. Uh, we also use it in recruiting and some other things. And there's a little preview there. We just picked up a wheel and tire set. We're gonna explore the idea of high performance driving and hybrid vehicles. So we're gonna utilize this car and do some, some baselines and make changes and upgrades as we use it for some autocross events. And so we're looking forward to getting into that. Over here, we've got our chassis dynamometer bay. This is a Mustang chassis dyno. Um, it's an MD 1100. We've got it mounted in the floor here. We've got all our ability to tie cars down in here, measure horsepower and torque output, as well as just do real world simulations of driving. We could do test drives without leaving the building. And here then is our tool cage. This houses our specialty tools and equipment, as well as some consumables, um, our specialty scan tools to communicate with cars and pull codes. All of those things live within that tool cage. One of the really unique things that we were able to do with this building is offer a number of different lift styles like this and really develop it like you would see in a large scale dealership. We were also able to make a big investment in tools. And so all of our workstations at each lift station have a large box like this that are all snap-on tools. And these snap-on tools are all laser cut into foam for easy identification, easy to get out. It's much easier to work efficiency, efficiently when your tools are organized. And so we've got a number of different half inch drive sockets, large wrenches, all really well organized and really secure. The other set of tools that we've got are these small roll carts. We've got just over 70 of these, and these provide these smaller hand tools. So really anything from a, for a small fastener up to about a 19 millimeter. And so these have got the quarter drive, they've got a three ace drive, as well as some screwdrivers. You can imagine that tool investment uh, took a lot of money, but that's one of the things that we pride ourselves on is that we're able to provide tools to our students so that when they purchase their own tools to go to work, they can use those tools at work uh, and not have to worry about coming to class with tools of their own. Over here at the back end or north end of the shop, we've got a handful of different tools. These are all our specialty tools for wheel and tire work, dismount tires, remount tires, as well as do some balancing. So we've got a nice variety of the tools there. Lots of other cool cars in here today. We've got some of the Ford Asset vehicles as they go through their labs. Here's another one of our motorsport cars. It is on a just a storage set of wheels right now, but this is our 1990 Honda Civic Si. This car has been with us since 2009. We utilize this for autocross. And it really is an amazing car for students to get a feel of what it's like in terms of high performance driving and, and racing. And this car has been really great to us. Uh, it's really a great driver learning tool. Over here in the corner, we've got some more specialty tools. We've got our hydraulic press, just one of the two that we've got. We've then got some brake lathes for doing rotor and drum refinishing. And then over here, these red lifts are specialty lifts for 
alignment use and just other style. They're a drive on lift. We've then got these two specialty lifts that are part of the alignment system that we work with from Hunter. And then over here on the wall, we've got three different generations of Hunter alignment machine so that we can expose our students to all the different types they might encounter out in a shop environment. When we step outside, this is our compound and where we park all our vehicles that we work on. We share this with Ford Asset as well as the collision repair program. This is one of our motorsport tow vehicles and just general purpose trucks, our excursion. A lineup of all our vehicles that we work on in class. These vehicles come to us from a variety of different places. Some of them are manufacturer donated. Some of them are donated by individuals. And so that gives us a really wide variety of vehicles to work on. We've got Chevys and Fords. We've got some Hondas, Mitsubishi products. Our goal is really to give you a sampling of how all these different manufacturers approach different systems so that you can be well versed as you go out to work in a shop. At the other side of the shop here, we've got our washroom, our cleanup room. So we utilize this for cleaning up metal components, engine blocks, things like that. So we've got a solvent tank here. We've got a little spray out area that's got a drain underneath that grate. We store our oil and waste oil drains here. Pressure washer, we've got an ultrasonic cleaner, as well as some engine hot tanks for washing cylinder heads, engine blocks, and things like that. Over here then in this door, this is our engine dyno. So here we've got the control station. And then back here we've got our Stuska engine dynamometer. So right now this has got a, an Ecotech, it's a 2.2 liter GM engine set up on it. Um, that's got HP tuners on it, so we can do a little bit of demonstration about tunability and things like that, and how making changes in base calibrations can influence how the engine behaves. Over here in this corner, we've got, this is somewhat of our fabrication area. So we've got some of the different welders and fabrication equipment that we utilize as we go through motorsport curriculum. And then this is one of our other motorsport vehicles. This is a 1990 Nissan 240 SX. The engine is currently out of it. Um, just as we had to go shelter in place, we had pulled the engine on this. We were doing some work to fix up some oil leaks. It's got a red top S13 SR20 DET engine swap in it with a different bigger turbo. Um, this car was donated to us. It spent most of its life in California. And while it looks a little rough right now, um, very solid underneath. Those of us that are into these cars, like myself, I'm a big Nissan fan. Um, this is going to be a fun project to watch unfold over the coming years as we get it cleaned up and really get it nice as a piece that students can utilize. The last thing we'll look at outside is our motorsport trailer. This is kind of a landmark as we talk about where our building is for people coming to see us. So I mentioned in that motorsport program, students are able to drive the cars that we've got. And so we need a way to get them to the track. This trailer allows us to take two cars at a time and really give more students the opportunity to drive and operate those vehicles. Thanks for taking a tour with me and taking some time to see what the automotive program here at Parkland College looks like. Um, I hope that gets you excited to see just the vast amount of space, the components, the vehicles, and all the things that we go through. If you want to see more, you want to come out and see us or talk to us about our program, get in touch with us. We'll put some information in the description to this video, um, and hopefully, again, you find it interesting. Hope to see you soon.